In this screencast, I'm going to talk about allocation recording. You might have noticed that in the memory view section in JProfiler, there are two views that display very similar information. One is the all objects view, the other is the recorded objects view. The all objects view displays information that is directly obtained from the profiling interface of the JVM. The JVM knows at all times how many objects there are for a given class. If you want to know more about objects, you have to take a full heap dump, which is what is done in the heap walker. However, JProfiler has a way of dynamically recording more information uh, on newly created objects, uh, and that's what allocation recording is. Allocation recording is, is something that you can manually start and stop. Let me start allocation recording by clicking on this button. And uh, what is shown here now is information on all the objects that have been created since the moment in time that I clicked uh, on that button. Otherwise, the displayed information is very similar to the all objects view. Now, what happens if I stop allocation recording? JProfile will not record any new objects that are being created, but it will continue to track those objects that have been recorded. So what you see here now is uh, the surviving objects. In this way, you can uh, record a certain use case and analyze later on what the long-term impact of that use case is, how many objects survive in the long run. If I start allocation recording again, this is like a reset. All information will be cleared and recording starts anew. So what is the additional information that allocation recording provides? First, allocation recording can give you information on garbage collected objects. The liveness selector in the toolbar here allows you to switch to garbage collected objects. You can see the numbers are far higher. You can mark the current state and observe how these numbers will continue to grow as more and more temporary objects are being garbage collected here. You can reset the garbage collector history separately without losing information on recorded objects. Start from zero again. And there is also a view mode that shows all um, live and garbage collected objects together. Live objects is, is the default. The second important piece of information is where objects have been created. Uh, that information is shown in the allocation call tree and allocation hotspots tabs. In these views, you first click the Calculate button to choose the parameters for the views. By default, allocations are shown cumulated for all classes. You can also show these views for a single selected class or package. There is a liveness selector here, and uh, you can choose whether to auto-update the allocation views periodically, just like the all objects and recorded objects views do. Now, here we go. The allocation call tree is quite similar to the CPU call tree, it's a cumulated tree of call stacks. Each node shows allocation counts and allocated memory. There is a bar here that visualizes the allocated memory. The light red portion shows the inherent uh, allocated memory. The dark red portion shows the allocated memory in descendant nodes. These gray nodes here are intermediary nodes where no allocations are taking place. Um, you can go to the view settings and switch off this accumulation feature. Now you see that the gray nodes have dropped to zero and the bar uh, attached here uh, has vanished. The allocation hotspots view is then similar to the uh, CPU hotspots view. You get a list of methods where most memory uh, is allocated. You can open the hotspots to get a accumulated list of, of back traces. And as I said before, uh, by default, this information is shown cumulative for all classes, but you can also select the single class or package uh, for these views. One way to set this is to uh, click on the Calculate button here and use this class selector to uh, choose classes and packages. However, it is far easier to go to the Recorded Objects view uh, because that's where you start out anyway. 
select the class that you, or package that you're interested in, right click and then choose show allocation tree for selection or show allocation hotspots for selection from the context menu and your selection will be automatically applied to both the allocation call tree and the allocation hotspots view.